A HACKER HEARING HACKED. TODAY, THE ATTORNEY FOR THE TAMPA TEENAGER ACCUSED OF TAKING OVER TWITTER ACCOUNTS OF WORLD FAMOUS PEOPLE TRIED TO GET HIS CLIENT'S BOND SLASHED TO GET THE ALLEGED HACKER OUT OF JAIL. BUT PEOPLE KEPT BREAKING INTO THE VIDEO CONFERENCE, DISRUPTING, EVEN SHUTTING THE HEARING DOWN AT ONE POINT. OUR RYAN HUGHES BROKE THE STORY OF GRAHAM CLARK'S ARREST. HE'S LIVE OUTSIDE THE COURTHOUSE. AND RYAN, WHAT AN UNUSUAL DISPLAY. I GUESS SOMETHING THAT COULD ONLY HAPPEN DURING THESE TIMES. Yeah, and in Florida, Stacey, good afternoon to you. Of course, those watching got quite the show from barking dogs to music to porn. Usually bond hearings are held at the courthouse, but COVID-19 has thrown a curveball at the courts, and that was on full display today. Graham Clark was supposed to be the focus of today's bond hearing held over Zoom since the courts aren't fully operational. But the hearing was hijacked by people who sought to repeatedly interrupt Judge Christopher Nash and attorneys as they talked about the accused Twitter hacker mastermind. Go ahead, still listen. The Zoom call was open to the public, meaning anyone with the ID could enter. Little did the judge know things would spiral out of control, forcing him to stop the hearing, then restart it. When things got back on track, Daryl Dirks, an assistant state attorney in Hillsborough County, argued to keep the bond where it stands since he's accused of bilking more than $100,000 out of people after he posted messages on Twitter accounts belonging to President Obama, Elon Musk, Kanye West, and others. The 107 thousand dollars it, it represents uh, the loss uh, at least that we know of at this point regarding th the Bitcoin uh, solicitation the the fraudulent Bitcoin solicitation that was made on allegedly on behalf of uh, internationally known and famous people Dirks called that only a small part of Clark's conduct. We are still discovering the, the breadth and extent of the defendant's criminal conduct. Two other men from Orlando in the United Kingdom were also arrested in connection to the scheme. In the end, Judge Nash refused to lower Clark's bond. He set the next hearing in the case with a caveat. October 7th, 1.30 by Zoom. That will be a password-protected uh, Zoom conference. So you heard it there. That hearing will be limited to those affiliated with the case and members of the media. Clark has pleaded not guilty. If convicted, Stacy, he could face 100 years or more in prison. Back to you. Strange story. All right. Thanks. Ryan Hughes reporting live.